friends. I thought I would join you today and read a nonfiction book with you because I've been doing that a little bit with the second graders and I thought it would be fun. And I saw on Mrs. Nell's Facebook page that she was talking about the letter combination of ST, how they go st together. And so I found this cool book on sea stars. Here it is, Life Under the Sea, Sea Stars by Bullfrog Books. And this is on epic.com. So I'm gonna try to put myself this funny little screen into a little corner that you can barely see. And then let's read this book a little bit together. And nonfiction stories are interesting because they have some features that maybe some of your other books don't. So you can always pause if you want and read it yourself and then play again and we will read it together. Here we go. Sea stars under the sea. A sea star is hungry. It is looking for food. So see if you can keep your eyes up with where I am reading. And you see that st is all over the place when you say star. Sea stars cannot see. How do they find food? Did you know that? Did you know that sea stars can't really see? Sea stars have tiny cells on their rays. And this is kind of fun because see how we've got this little, this little label that shows us where that is like each one of those little parts of the sea star is called a ray so that's kind of cool and then over here it says the cells sense smells so these little cells on each ray they sense the smells that's pretty interesting pretty pretty interesting so i can go ahead and erase this it's kind of Sea stars have hundreds of tube feet. They help sea stars move. And over here, see how we've got another one of those labels on the picture and it points to this tube foot. So you don't usually see this if you pick up a sea star and take it out of the ocean. The little tube foot um, kind of retracts or like squeezes back into um, the sea star and so you don't really see it. But if you could put on some goggles and go under the water and watch the sea star in its habitat in the ocean with all the seawater going around, these tube feet would all be kind of poking out just like this picture. Sea stars have eye spots. Eye spots sense light and dark. So right there at the little tip, and you can even see on this other sea star, right at the little tip is where those eye spots are. It says, watch out clams, watch out scallops. You can figure out why they need to watch out. Right, because they're the prey species and the sea star is the predator, it's going to eat it. Watch out oysters, a sea star is near. It might eat you. See how it has an exclamation mark at the end, so you've got to read it with excitement. It might eat you. Oh no. The sea star hunches over a clam. Its tube feet stick to the shells. So can you see the section here? I'll make it even bigger for you. See all these little tube feet? are sticking right onto that shell so they can hold on to it almost like you would hold on to something in your hand so that you could eat it the sea star pulls and pulls the clam opens now the sea star feasts it's tricky can you say that word feasts you see it over here it's kind of tricky sometimes to say that sts combination it's good for you to try so yeah they open it up and then they can eat out the sort of squishy insides of the clam and this is a little diagram, which is great. A lot of nonfiction books have a diagram, which just means a picture that has lots of labels. So it says parts of a sea star, and it's pointing to the eye spot, a small spot on the end of each ray that senses light and dark. We learned about that one. We have rays, which is another word for the sea star's arms, and tube feet, the soft, sticky feet on the bottom of the sea star that help it move. So that's kind of cool. And on this other page over here, they have a picture glossary. So it tells you a little bit more about some of these things like cells, a part of the body that can only be seen with a microscope. So you can't see them yourself unless you have special equipment. A clam is a shellfish with two shells that close tightly together, right? They kind of like you do with your hands like this and kind of close them up. And next to it is a scallop. That closes the same way too. A shellfish that has wavy curved shells that open and close. This has hunch. 
to round the body and bend over something. So you can kind of hunch your body. Like if you had a beach ball and you were trying to hold onto it and make sure it didn't um, float away in the water, you might hunch over it. Up here is an oyster, a flat shellfish with two shells. Pearls can grow in oysters. And then down here it says sense, to feel, see, hear, smell, taste, or be aware of something. So you're aware of lots of things all the time. So I hope you enjoyed this nonfiction book on sea stars. Yes, some people call them starfish, but they are not fish. So we're all trying to train ourselves to call them sea stars. And hopefully this book helps you out with that. And maybe you learn some new facts that you can go share with somebody else. So thanks for joining in and we'll see you next time. Bye.